and she wants to she wants to be seen she wants me to know that she's she doesn't really know how to do this adult shit because she was never taught Wagwan brethren and sisters, it's Imani Blaze here back with another video. You guys are joining me from the car. Um, I'm at work. I got a break. I need to get these videos out. And yeah, so if you hear cars going by, it is what it is. If you are new to this channel, let me let you know how I get down here. I speak openly and honestly about all things mental health, healing, holistic living, real talk, all these things them. So if that sounds like your steez, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like this video, share, 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 share. I'm really trying to get into this algorithm and all of that. So just help your girl out by pressing all those buttons. Yeah, 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 do that. Today, I want to talk about having conversations with your inner child. And um, y'all already know how I get down here. I speak personally about how I do things. And then my hope is that my transparency, my truth speaks to you and you're able to navigate your own healing waters. Um, so yeah, I did a random TikTok video, was that last week? I think it was last week. Um, and I was talking to my inner child and I got a lot of people on TikTok who like really resonated with that short conversation that I had. And I was like, mm, this is really a thing. I really need to hone in on this speaking to the inner child, healing the inner child content. Um, right now I'm just transitioning into another space in life. I'll talk to you guys about that as soon as all of the dots are dotted and the signatures are on the line. That's all I got for you right now. Um, but yeah, so as soon as I'm just more settled, I can really dive into this content on healing the inner child because that is the journey that I'm on, healing my inner child of the very rough um, upbringing that she received. And my inner child, she's gone through so much. It's crazy. Um, and I didn't, I don't think I have any tissue. Of course I don't. Always having these conversations without having tissue on me. Damn. So if I start crying, then it is what it is. And y'all know I don't, I'm not afraid to cry on camera. Um, but yeah, so speaking to your inner child is, is so important because oftentimes your inner child, if not acknowledged, is showing up in your adult life and you're not understanding what's actually happening. So through therapy, I realized that my inner child was showing up every time I found myself beating myself up for why my brain does the things that it does. So example, full transparency. Um, I need to make a call about my student loans and I need to make a call in regards to my taxes. Um, and anything that has to do with finances or adult responsibilities gives me extreme anxiety. I procrastinate about it. And I really just don't get around to doing it until I really absolutely have no choice but to do it. And I don't like that about myself. I honestly hate it. And in order to prosper and become this version of myself that I'm becoming, I have to be somebody who can make a phone call about anything financial, anything 
adult responsibility related without running away from doing that. Once I decided to soften up on myself, I started to dive deeper into therapy and figuring out what's actually going on because it's not, there's got to be a reason why every time it's time to make an adult phone call, I'm, I just don't want to do it. I just ignore it. I let these bills and these envelopes pile up. I pay the bills that I, that like gotta be paid. Like we never getting shit cut off and stuff like that, but like just important stuff like taxes and, and shit like most people will just say like you're a bad adult and I oftentimes say that like I'm not a good adult I'm I'm not good at adulting and it's because my inner child is screaming out in those moments my inner child my inner child watched mom dad I love you if you're watching my content but y'all already know how I get down but my inner child watched my parents not take care of things my inner child watched my parents let bills and envelopes pile up and just ignore it and so it's become it was it's become a learned behavior for me but it doesn't align with the woman that I am and the woman that I'm continuing to become so it's just like a, a clash and that's where the frustration is coming from because it's just like why can't you take care of this what is going on when I figured out what was going on, it's an adult form of ADHD, anxiety, all meshed together with the chemical imbalances going on. And it's just, it's become easier to avoid, but it's not easy anymore because I am experiencing a full 360 level up of my entire life and one of the things I have to know how to do is deal with finances take make those phone calls be on top of my shit but it's hard I have to make this phone call today and honestly I should have made the phone call before I got on this video making this video but this is easier for me and it's hard and I hate it And when I'm crying and I'm starting to get frustrated, that's my inner child. And that's why I'm making this video so that you can see it in like real time. And so when I see this start to happen, when I feel this start to happen, that's when I speak to her and I say, baby girl, it is okay. I know that you have learned to avoid things and I know you haven't had the best example of being a responsible and a, a responsible adult. And I know that making these phone calls and handling things gives you anxiety, but you can do this. You can do this and it is okay. It's okay to be scared. But it's going to work out and everything's going to be okay as it always is. It's okay to not want to do things, but you have to do this. A responsible adult is going to make that phone call. You owe it to the woman that you're becoming. You owe it to her to show up. So feel your feels, but you got to make that phone call. You got to make that phone call. Now in the silence, in this brief silence, I'm letting the words that my parent, inner parent, has just said to my inner child resonate. And my heart is starting to not be as heavy. And I feel safer. I feel seen and I feel like I can make this phone call even though I don't want to and I also feel 
less ashamed about not wanting to make the phone call and not wanting to take care of shit. I feel less ashamed about it because my inner parent knows what's really going on. So, yeah. That was just like a, a little quick example of how I speak to my inner child and how I self-soothe. Before I learned the art of speaking to my inner child and being my own inner parent and reparenting myself, I used to just have severe anxiety attacks. I would just be sitting here crying, asking God to help me. Oh my God. Like, but now I know what's going on. I know that when my heart starts beating, when them tears start forming in my eyes, when I start getting frustrated with myself, it's because it's because my inner child is craving some attention right now and she wants to be seen she doesn't want to be told to just like deal with it suck it up be an adult and take care of this no she wants that acknowledgement she wants that compassion and she wants to she wants to be seen she wants me to know that she's she doesn't really know how to do this adult shit because she was never taught and i and I know everybody's really learning, but there are people who who have had examples that set them up for success. They've had examples that at least kind of give them a blueprint of, of this is how you do that. I ain't have none of that shit. Okay, all the only example I had is live paycheck to paycheck. We still broke. We gonna ignore these bills shit gonna get cut off it is what it is just poverty mindset lack mindset survival mode that's all i know so i've been go i've been winging this shit i have been winging this shit and to be honest i'm doing the damn thing that's worthy of, of praise that's something else that I do when I start beating myself up. It's like, girl, you done taught yourself all this shit. Didn't nobody t teach you none of this shit? What you don't know, you go research, you go learn about, you read about, and you 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 plug it in t into those spaces that are missing. And you're creating this beautiful life just based off of healing and loving yourself enough to learn what you don't know. And you're using your journey to help other people. Again, I'm talking to my inner child. This is just what I do when I start feeling that. I don't even know what you call it. Inner tantrum. I don't. I don't know. So that's really all I got for you guys. Um, I hope that made some type of sense. I could really use you guys' help with knowing what to talk about on these videos that's also part of the lack of consistency in my content because it's like sometimes i'm like do they even care about this do they want to hear about this bop, bop, bop. so like ask me questions um i'll put all, all my handles and stuff are in the caption so follow me send me messages like hit me up hit me in the comments let me know what you want to hear about or what you have specific questions about because it's easy for me to just like answer questions instead of coming up with things that I think that you guys actually want to know about I love you I mean it thank you for watching all of this um yeah bye